Wow. Good to see you guys on a Saturday afternoon. All right, fire away. Did you think the layoff in any way affected the start? I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, didn't, I don't think the start was that bad. I mean, I think they're a good team. And, you know, like I said, games start out zero to zero. And in basketball, you score one, two, and three points at a time. And, you know, this, the, 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 those possessions have to accumulate to build a lead. And, and you're not going to start up, you know, 30 to zero. So, um, and, not, and you're not going to beat Colgate by 30. I mean, they're a really good team. So, um, yeah, I, I was happy how our guys came out. I, I thought, you know, the effort and energy was good, and we just kind of got a feel for them. And they're a good physical team who had a, who had a good plan that they're comfortable executing. So it just took us a little while to kind of unravel it. They, they came in uh, pretty good on the defensive rebounds, and it took, I think, about 11 minutes before you guys got your first offensive board, but then you finished with 14. Was there something that you had to change as far as the way the guys were approaching I mean, Not really. I mean, we, we, we focused on offensive rebounding, and, you know, a lot of off offensive rebounding is just effort and attentiveness. So, you know, I mean, we're, we're on the guys to, to, to do that, and it's an important part of what we do, and it always has been, and hopefully it always will be. And they didn't get a second shot the entire game. That their only offensive rebound was at the buzzer. I mean, I'll have to go back and watch. You know, I mean, you know, certain teams come in here and they make a decision to get everybody back. You know, because they don't want to get in an up and down game. And you know, maybe they were getting everybody back, and you know, they you know put a heavier emphasis on defensive transition than you know trying to get offensive glass. Omar Bala had a double double today. Seemed to have a real big presence under the basket. What did you see from him out there? I mean, yeah, um Umar played well. You know, he's, he's coming along, you know, I mean, I know, you know, everyone has, you know, high expectations for Umar because of the progress he's made. And, you know, I think he's playing really well and he's going to, he's training in the right direction. Um, and, and I mean, number 55 is like an oak tree out there. I mean, he's a big, strong guy. So, I mean, it was definitely a battle and, and, you know, I mean, Umar, you know, it's probably not used to getting hit like that. And, and that credit goes to 55. So, uh, you know, I, I think it just took a little bit while for Umar maybe to get comfortable with it and for our guys to maybe find him on some angles. You have a guy like Pella who can kind of fill the staff sheet and be very efficient out there for you guys. Well, I mean, Pella is a really good all-around player. And, you know, he's, he, he values that and, and, and we value that. So, you know, he's going to impact the game in a lot of areas. He's really coachable. He's got a lot of experience. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's you know, not afraid of the moment. And, you know, he, he – He's, he's, he's a guy that is going to give you a great effort almost every night. So we, we love having him. With what they were doing, any other keys in your mind uh, early in the second half with that run you guys put on? I mean, uh, I, mean I, don't, I don't know no keys. I mean, we, we wanted to be aggressive, get the ball moving a little bit. You know, they're, I would say they're kind of a compact defense, you know. I mean, I don't know, pack line, whatever you want to call it. But they're a little bit more compact with not great. You know, they're really not putting a heavy emphasis on – you know, pressure in the ball, there's more gap there. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to that. You know, we're used to, you know, maybe facing more pressure. And and um, so, yeah, I think our guys just had to get comfortable, you know, hanging with possessions, moving the ball, getting to the next action. And then eventually, you know, you know, if you move the pieces enough, you know, you're going to find the, the, the creases in the defense and, and the little pockets to either penetrate or make passes. Do you feel like it was – Good in that sense for you guys, because I know you schedule trying to get different styles to face. And you know, I mean, you know, we 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 like scheduling, you know, good teams, and we don't, you know, we don't sit on a you know a whiteboard, TJ and I, and say, well, let's find a team that play. We just come on. We we schedule the games we can get on the dates that work, and we don't overthink it like that. Um, but I mean, obviously, there's great value in playing a program like Colgate. I mean, Colgate, you know, had Syracuse down 20 at Syracuse. And, and so, I mean, that says something to them. So for us to come in here and, you know, kind of get a lead on them and, and, and build on it over the course of 40 minutes, I mean, I think it's a great thing. Do you thought it was possible to be number one on Monday? Um, I mean, I think it's great. You know, it, it's, it's what we want in this program. And, and um, you know, I, th I think we got to get comfortable being in this position. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, we're, we're not going to, you know, get big heads or, you know, make it too big of a deal. But, you know, I, I know when I came to this program, you know, my, my dream is to, to make it one of the best in the country. And, you know, if you're one of the best in the country, you're going to stumble into being number one once in a while. So, you know what? Handle it. And, and that'll be the message. And, and, uh, and hopefully our guys will, will handle it well. And I think it's something it's great for the fans. It ger generates a little bit of excitement. But at the end of the day, Saturday, I don't think Wisconsin cares.
So you're going to have a hard game for 40 minutes against a really good team. So, you know, you, you don't – if you're number one, they, you don't start out 5-0. You start out 0-0. And, and so we'll just approach it like that. When you were at Gonzaga, you had that happen a lot. Uh, you go one down, one again. But did it make a difference the way teams shoot at you? Do you find it's just an extra thing when you come well, in as number one that you have to deal with? Them? I don't know because uh, – I don't know what those other teams are thinking. I'm not asking them. I'm not saying, are you guys playing harder against us because we're number one and number two? I, so I don't know. I mean, you'll have to, I mean, you could, you, maybe you could say, yeah, it's a bigger deal. I don't know. I mean, for me, listen, I don't know what Duke was rated when we we're playing. I don't care if Duke was rated 101. We wanted to go in there and win that game. And, and we were going to play our butts off no matter what. So, I mean, th th that's a question to ask the opponent, not me. Caleb Love um, has a, his averaging career high in assists. He had combined uh, four steals and blocks tonight. Has he been a better all-around player than you thought, or has he been the player you thought he could be? Well, he's really talented. He's a good basketball player. And, you know, I, I just told him, you, you're going to come to Arizona, you're probably not going to score 25 a game, and, and just the way we're kind of built. But, but you can have a big, big impact, and here's some of the things we can do offensively, but I'm also going to demand you be good in every other area. And he's been 100% receptive to that. I, I think he's doing a great job. I think he, you know, had, what, eight rebounds today I saw, which is awesome. And um, I'm, I'm proud of the progress he's making, and I'm, I'm proud of the person and player he is, and uh, we're lucky to have him. What's morale like in the locker room right now, 7-0 start? I think it's good. I mean, hopefully our morale is always good. You know, I mean, you know, you know win or lose, I mean, that, that's part of the deal. You know, we're, you know, we, we got to be steady and uh, in our approach so you know I think the mood is good and you know the guy the guys know that I have really high standards and you know no matter what or how they feel like they play they also know Monday we come in and we're probably going to address a few things and try to get better. Tyron was talking about his own maturity uh, the other day and he's you know kind of started off cold tonight but he didn't seem like he forced anything from that point forward and finished with a pretty good stat line is that an example of that maturity? I mean, a, a little bit um, you know, Kylan, he's, you know, he's should be, he should be a true freshman right now. So we, we, we can't forget that. And he's having a lot of experiences and, you know, learning a lot, you know, how to, how to respond to those. And, you know, I, I just see him trending in the right direction and I see so much more room for growth that, that, that excites me. And, you know, Kylan knows I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him pretty hard behind the scenes, you know, because, uh, cause I have high expectations for him and I think that's what he needs to, you know, that's the way he needs to be coached to, to meet those expectations. So he, he's doing a great job. And, and hey, you're going to have a good half. You're going to have a, a quiet half. You're going to have a bad half. It's kind of how it goes. And and hopefully it doesn't affect the next one. I kind of indicated, maybe he's joking, just that maybe in a, to shake it up, letting his hair out. I mean, do you, are you, do you buy into any of those superstitions or, you know, encourage guys to do stuff like that? Just... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really. I mean, I honestly... I don't notice what shoes they wear. I don't notice if they wear a headband or not. I don't know if they wear an arm sleeve. I just know if they wear an Arizona jersey, and that, that's all I pay attention to. I mean, well, mentally, do you think he's the same guy? Have you noticed anything this fall just, you know, with a little little bit of ups and downs on and off the floor? I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think you guys got it under a microscope, and it's just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think you're, you know, when you're a really good player like Umar is, you're not going to be constantly trending upwards. I mean, there's going to be ups and downs because you're already pretty good. And, and so, um, so yeah, I think Umar's right where we need him to be. I think, you know, he's, he's establishing himself. And, you know, I, I think he'll probably have some stretches over this season where he's extremely dominant. You mentioned coming back Monday. How do you break up? A, again, you have two more weeks like this. Do you take a couple days off? Or? I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll probably take tomorrow off and, you know, kind of, you know, coaches will kind of, you know, get together and, you know, figure out, you know, if there's anything from this game that, you know, could help us moving forward. And and then we'll start game planning for our next opponent like we always do. So I, I, I think it'll be a, a normal week. And I'm sure the guys have a lot of academic stuff this week. I think we're stepping into finals. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's this week, so... I mean, you know, the, the, the guys have a lot more going on than just playing on Saturday at 1 p.m. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.